Well, today, House Republicans met on Capitol Hill about possibly impeaching Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of immigration at the southern border. Here in South Florida, a prominent group of Cuban Americans are showing support for him in an open letter to Congress. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor joins us live in the newsroom with reaction tonight. Yvonne. Hello, Danaja. The open letter calls the impeachment a political stunt by members of the GOP. Now, the South Florida group not only says that Mallorcas is a Cuban American, but also the son of a Holocaust survivor who's doing a very good job. The House Committee on Homeland Security met Tuesday to mark up two articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The actions and decisions of Secretary Mayorkas have left us with no other option than to proceed with articles of impeachment. The articles of impeachment charge Mayorkas willfully defied laws that require migrants to be detained and that he breached the public trust by claiming that the border is secure. Many of us believe that this is more of a political statement. Former Miami-Dade Mayor Alex Penelas, healthcare mogul Mike Fernandez, and former Republican Party Chairman Al Cárdenas are among the South Florida Cuban Americans included as co-signer of a letter urging Congress to drop efforts of impeachment. The letter was meant to call upon members of Congress to see the secretary as an ally in this effort to secure our borders, not as an enemy. Some members of the House disagree. The failure to secure the border has been so significant, so catastrophic, so egregious. He's uh, tripled efforts to keep drugs like fentanyl out of the country. Unfortunately, what's occurred is that we're in the middle of a political season and immigration uh, and the southern border is a hot button issue. The letter describes Mallorcas as the son of Holocaust survivor. We are confident that, like us, he shares a deep and abiding love for the country that has given him so much evidence by his choice to dedicate his life to public service in return for the opportunities America has offered him. Secretary Mallorcas did not testify during the impeachment proceedings, and Penelas believes if this were not a presidential year, the whole proceeding would not have any relevance. And the reality is, even if he were to be impeached by the House, it's unlikely the Senate will try him. And if they try him, it's unlikely he will be found gu guilty. Now, there has not been a cabinet member impeached in 150 years in this country. Yet, House Speaker Mike Johnson says he intends to bring the impeachment issue up for a full House vote as soon as possible. Live in the newsroom, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.